Does the Big Bang fit with the Bible? One of the questions that a number of people ask me is, what about the Big Bang? Is that perhaps God's method of creation? Is that compatible with the Bible? And I must admit, I'm a little disappointed when people have to ask that. It shows that they really don't understand the Big Bang or they don't understand uh, the Bible even more sadly, I think. No, the Big Bang and the Bible are not remotely compatible. In fact, they're, all, they're really competitors. The Big Bang is the naturalistic explanation for how the universe could come into existence, whereas the Bible makes it clear that God created supernaturally. And if we compare the details, we'll find the Big Bang and the Bible disagree on a number of points. For example, the, uh, the Big Bang would teach that the universe was created naturalistically, whereas the Bible makes it very clear the universe was created thousands of years ago, supernaturally, that God specially created each of the objects that we find in the universe uh, today. Uh, the Big Bang teaches that the universe is created over billions of years, or it actually exploded into existence over, and, and everything formed over billions of years, whereas the Bible makes it clear that God created in six days and that this was thousands of years ago. So the time scale is totally different. So that's one enormous difference, the time scale and the method of creation. And a lot of people think, well, maybe we can make the days of creation long periods of time, and that would solve the time scale differences. But no, you really can't do that. First of all, it wouldn't make sense to do that. The way that it's worded in the Hebrew, the days are clearly ordinary days, being bounded by an evening and a morning and so on. And uh, secondly, the order of events is different. The Big Bang teaches that uh, stars uh, were formed uh, billions of years before the Earth was, whereas according to the Bible, the Earth is made before stars. The Earth's made on day one, stars are made on day four. So you can't get around the, the different order of events between these two different versions of history. The Big Bang is not only a story about the past, it's also a story about the future. A lot of people don't realize that. And so it, 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 the, the future of the universe is different according to what the Bible teaches. According to the Big Bang, the universe will eventually die of what's called a heat death, where everything in the universe will equilibrate, come to the same temperature. It's actually quite cold, so it's a little counterintuitive, but everything will come to the same uh, chilly temperature, and therefore there will be no usable energy left because things are driven by heat differences. And that's very different than what the Bible teaches about the future, because the Bible teaches that God will judge the earth and then recreate a paradise, a new heavens and a new earth, and there will remain paradise uh, forever. So that's quite different than the heat death that the Big Bang teaches. And I find a lot of Christians are inconsistent believing in what the Big Bang says about the uh, future, or, or the past, but believing what the Bible says about the future. And that, of course, is uh, uh, it's really an inconsistency. So know that the Big Bang and the Bible are, are totally contrary on a number of points and they really cannot be made uh, to be compatible at all. And so it's disappointing that so many Christians have bought into that. And some people have said, well, isn't the Big Bang theistic? Doesn't it lead people to believe in, in God? And I would say, well, no, it really isn't. At best, the Big Bang might be considered deistic in the sense that it would lead us to believe in a God who um, maybe started the fuse on the Big Bang and then sat back and let the laws of nature take over. Now that is not the biblical conception of God, and so that, that God is not the God of the Bible. The, the God of the Bible created the universe supernaturally, and he still maintains the universe uh, by the word of his power. He's intimately involved in every detail of the uh, creation and of the uh, sustaining of the universe. And I say at best the Big Bang is deistic because an astute thinker will realize it's not even that. Uh, just because everything uh, within the universe requires a cause does not mean that the universe itself necessarily requires a cause, nor would you expect that if it, even if it had a cause, that that cause would necessarily be supernatural. It might be another universe that created this one, as many uh, astronomers believe today. We don't want to be like the ancient Israelites that took the secular ideas of their day and tried to add that into the Bible. They would take these other gods, Baal and so on, and they would worship these other gods as well as the biblical God. Now that is not biblical. And so why is it that people do that today? They take the secular idea of the Big Bang and try to add that into the Bible. No, we don't want to do that. We need to let the Bible stand on its own and defend it in a way that is faithful to the God that we serve.